the feet. Take out the corresponding yarn. Working into a magic ring, wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. Make a loop around your middle finger and pinch the crossover of the yarn. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger. Yarn under the hook, pull up a loop, and measure ring is from on the middle finger. In round one, start with a chain stitch and then work five single crochets. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Put one chain stitch first. Then work five single crochets. We need to mark the first stitch of every round. Continue to work four more single crochets in the same way. Five single crochets are done. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Remove the marker and move one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 1 is done. In round 2, start with a chain stitch and then work 5 increases. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Put one chain stitch first. Then work 5 increases. We need to work 2 single crochets in each stitch. Five increases are done. Remove the marker and move one subset in the first stitch to join this round.
Round two is done. In round three, flatten the fabric and we'll crochet through both layers. We need to insert hook through every corresponding two stitches of both layers. Put one chain stitch first. Put one half double crochet increase, which means working two half double crochets in the same stitch. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the first stitch through both layers. Yarn over the hook and pull up a loop. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through all three loops on the hook. That's one half double crochet. Half double crochet. First, work two chain stitches. Turn over the fabric, we are going to work a half double crochet. Yarn hook and insert hook into the stitch. Through the underneath of the way, Hook the yarn and pull up loop. There are three loops on the hook. OK. Yarn hook and pull through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. Then what one more half double crochet in the same stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert hook into the same stitch through both layers. Yarn over the hook and pull up a loop. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through all three loops on the hook. The second half double crochet in the same stitch is done. One half double crochet increase is done. In the next stitch, put one slip stitch and two chain stitches. Put one slip stitch. For two chain stitches. Then what one half double crochet, one double crochet, and one half double crochet in the next stitch. What one half double crochet first.
Then with one double crochet in the same stitch, yarn over the hook first, insert hook into the same stitch, yarn over the hook, and pull up a loop. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull through the first two loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook again and pull through the remaining two loops on the hook. That's one double crochet. Double crochet. First, work three chain stitches. Okay, turn over the fabric. We are going to work a double crochet. Yarn around the hook. Insert hook into the stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook. Pull through the first two loops on hook. There are two loops left on the hook now. Yarn on hook, pull through the remaining two loops on hook. That's a double crochet. Then with one half double crochet in the same stitch. Cut off the short yarn tail. In the next stitch, we'll one slip stitch and one chain stitch. We'll one slip stitch. Then we'll one chain stitch. Then we'll one half double crochet increase and one slip stitch in the next stitch. First, we'll one half double crochet. Well, one more half double crochet in the same stitch. That's one half double crochet increase. Then one more slip stitch in the same stitch. Dress the loop and remove the hook. Break yarn, leave in a long yarn tail, and pull the yarn tail out. Thread the needle with the yarn tail and thread up from the middle of round one. One foot is done. Please crochet the other foot in the same way on your own.
the mouth. Take out the corresponding yarn. Working into a magic ring, wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. Make a loop around your middle finger and pinch the crossover of the yarn. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop. A metric ring is formed on the middle finger.